All right, Benjamin Brown, pray these videos courage and strengthening you. And if they are, please share and like. It's all about Jesus. Glory to God, not about Benjamin. You know, it's a tr true pleasure and honor to get to do this. I do not take this for granted. And I love him so much. And he loves you so much. Where one or two are gathered in his name, we're having church. Glory to God. And what an honor and privilege to get to do this, to share the word, you know, with his precious people that's why he laid his life down you're more than just a man or a woman or a person you're a precious soul that the enemy tries to steal but when he opens your eyes and we see the true prize and we know that he's a liar and jesus christ when he returns he's going to set him on fire glory to god amen he is going to return and claim that King David Stern. Amen. Glory to God. He is going to. And anybody that does not believe in him, we need to pray. Pray that he opens their eyes and ears and he's sending his spirit like never seen before. And he is speaking to his people like never seen before. People are coming home to the truth because Pilate said what is the truth the truth of the matter you got to put me on that cross whether you want to or not because you find me innocent but I have to go on that cross for my precious people when they see the truth that I laid my life down for every single soul to accept me as their Lord and Savior. And the Father said, the only way to me is by accepting my only begotten son. Amen. Glory to God. I pray that he's opening eyes and ears in this world. I pray that more and more. And I know these videos are disrupting the world and he's opening eyes and ears with it. Glory to Jesus forever. Every time the Jesus gets glorified, the Father gets glor glorified. Perfect plan three and one. The Father, the Son, Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to use. Amen. But anyway, let's pray. Well, I almost forgot. Check out www.hauntbrotherscrafts.com all lowercase. But anyway, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, what a true honor and privilege to get to come and dig in your word. It's so important, Lord. You're worthy to be famous. You're worthy to be seen. What you did 2,000 years ago, still working today. These are more than just people. They are precious souls. You love them so much. That's why you laid your life down. And the enemy comes to try to lie and deceive, to pull them from you and bring so he can try to take as many of them to hell because when you return you're going to cast every one of them in the lake of fire and if they don't believe in you or don't seek you or don't know you they will be going with him and i rebuke him in the name of jesus the ones he's got to let go that he's lying to that you're opening eyes and ears in this world he's got to let go so they can see the truth in jesus christ's name because your word said your word will get across the whole world you're trying to give people a chance to come home to accept you as your lord and savior that we can live through you when we have you and you never leave us or forsake us because you got the holy spirit and you sent him to us what a word to day in jesus christ's name you are the way you're the truth and the life come speak to your people you're always welcome to us holy spirit and jesus all of us on these videos always every second of every day amen what a word we have hebrews 1 verses 1 and 2 what a powerful word i'm looking forward to getting into this word amen and i know i shared that he brought me back to the truck but you know i end up looking on my time card and uh i was taking an hour off every day but i realized that i actually have more hours than what i shared but anyway amen uh you know i give him the glory for me being able to do what i do it's not about me it's all about him and his holy spirit in me check out isaiah 40 verse 31 if you're struggling you know tired or whatever amen he is so beautiful and uh but anyway you know what a true honor and privilege but t today was a lot better you know got done an hour sooner you know the once you learn the route you get faster and faster and it's a true gift to be to run hydraulics and uh you know that helps too and uh but what an honor and privilege to get to do this and he gets all the glory for the job and uh, i love doing it and uh i love doing this too anyway but anyway let's let's start hebrews 1 Verses one, and the title above that is God's final words, his son, God's final word, his son. Anyway, verse one, 
in the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times in various, in various ways. Hey, I boast my weakness. Amen. Yeah, in the Old Testament, he had many prophets, you know, Elijah, Elisha, uh, Moses, Abraham. Oh, my gracious. Um, you know, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah. Uh, so many of them. Daniel. Oh, glory to God. Let's not forget Daniel, the lion's den. Oh, the fiery furnace. Oh, man. Glory to God. But anyway, um, you know, it, this is so powerful. And now when Jesus laid his life down and we accept him as our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit will come to us in Jesus, through Jesus. Amen. Whatever we hear comes from him. It's so powerful. Three in one, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the perfect plan against the darkness, the only way that he could disrupt the, the, the lies of the enemy is by laying his life down. And when he opens your eyes, we get the true prize. Glory to God. What he did 2,000 years ago is still working today. Let's read the ver next verse. Verse 2, so powerful. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir over all things, through whom also he made the universe. Oh, my gracious. Did you catch that? Heir. Oh, my gracious. Oh, you know, I think we need to read that again. Glory to God. But in these last days, he has spoken to us. By his son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom also he made the universe. Glory to God. Amen. And that's who we accept as our Lord and Savior, that we come through him, his power, as we shared in First Peter 19, the precious blood when we accepted him as our lord and savior and that blood is so precious when you come to see the truth and i'm here to tell you it's not me it's his holy spirit that i adore so much and him you know whatever we hear the holy spirit say shows us teach us he's a teacher whatever you hear it comes from jesus glory to god what an honor and privilege did we truly grasp that when you have Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you accept him, and the enemy tries to lie to you, tries to plant weeds of doubt and negative, and tries to steal people's souls, but he's a liar, and Jesus Christ, that when he returns, he's going to set him on fire, and all them angels, amen, and I pray that he's, no, I know that these videos are disrupting the world, and he's opening eyes and ears, and if he's opening your eyes and ears to accept him as your his as your Lord and Savior, oh my grace, I'm getting so excited, as your Lord and Savior, heaven erupts with every one of you that comes to know the truth, because the pilot said, what is the truth, as we just said, the truth is, I laid my life down on that cross, I took that beating for every single soul that is lost in the sauce that the devil tries to steal. And I'm going to disrupt the world by laying my life down to push back darkness so people can come to me. And the father said, the only way to me is by accepting my only begotten son. That's the only way to the father through that blood, through that lamb. And we get to live through him and you get the Holy Spirit when you accept him as your Lord and savior. And anyway, maybe we'll get into a little bit more about fasting too. And, uh, that's one way to hear what he is trying to share with you. And it does help, I'm here to say. And uh, what an honor, honor and privilege. And there's different levels of that. And, uh, you know, the food is uh, a stronghold. It is uh, the enemy tries to use that. And uh, we do need to eat. But there's different levels. But if you're interested in that, check out Daniel. There's a 21-day fast. You know, all the fruits, vegetables, nuts. That's how I started. He changed my diet doing that. And there's other ways you can do it, giving up coffee, you know, or uh, electronics or TV, movie. You know, there's so many ways you can do it. But, you know, be very careful. You know, if you're if you've got medical issues, consult with a doctor first. Let them know what you want to do. OK, 
But anyway, what an honor and privilege. If he's opened your eyes, you want to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Let's pray this prayer. And we're going to go deeper for all of us, including the ones that just come into Christ. Amen. It's, it's such an honor and privilege to get to do this. And what a word today. So powerful. Oh, my gracious Jesus, you are always, always welcome here. You are my master and I am your masterpiece. We all no. Let's reframe that. You are a master and we are your masterpiece. You mold us and create us and change us to be more like you. All of us become more like you, Jesus. Amen. But anyway, I'm sorry. God, oh, glory to God. Let's let's pray that, uh, What, like I said, when he's opening your eyes and you want to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your only begotten son. I see now what you did for me, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I realize we were born as sinners. And I want to give you every one of my sins from the time I was born to right now. I give them all of you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And not only that, you're going to send the Holy Spirit, put a hunger and thirst in all of us like never seen before, Jesus. Let us see the beauty of you and your word. This is truly the word of life. No word from God will ever fail. Luke 1 verse 37. Amen. And that's an IV version, by the way. But anyway, Maybe we start in the book of John. Put our hunger and thirst in all of us to see the beauty of you. You're worthy to be seen, worthy to be praised. Thank you for laying your life down so I can accept you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Welcome, brother and sister. You're so precious. Amen. And when you come to see that I will never leave you or forsake you, check out Hebrews 13, 5 and 6, and also Joshua 1, that's in there, and Deuteronomy 31, verse 8, okay? Remember, I would never leave you or forsake you once I had you. And the devil will come. Uh, see what you just did? You messed up. Now he doesn't like you. Now he left you. That's a lie. Big fat lie. In Jesus Christ's name, he has to let go. Everyone in these videos, Jesus, that he is lying to, deceiving, because you're the truth and the life. You said that you are the, the true life, the true bread, and you are are and you have our authority in heaven and on earth in matthew 28 18 when we come under you in that blood we have authority over him when we come into our identity and he doesn't want us to know that but that's why we're doing these videos to disrupt this world to strengthen your precious souls the precious sons and daughters that you created jeremiah 1 5 i created you before your mother's room and also that's in isaiah 49 glory to God, amen. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. And continue to use this temple and use our temple. Strengthen us. Maybe we can encourage someone just by buying a cup of coffee or letting your light shine and just singing good morning to somebody in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. But anyway, welcome, brother and sister. It's an honor and privilege. What an honor. You know, I don't take it for granted. And remember, check out Joshua, what we just shared. And I'm not going to close again in prayer because we kind of summed everything up. But, uh, I, you know, I truly love doing this and he is worthy of it. It's about him, not me. But anyway, remember, stay strong. He sees you. He adores you. I never leave you or forsake you once you have him. Amen.